The Women of the Future Conference is really designed to not only inspire the next generation of STEM professionals, but to raise aspirations and also broaden horizons. We've got a really large number of schools from across Norfolk and Suffolk, with a couple of hundred girls taking part today. It's so important to support and encourage more young people, particularly girls, to realise that women just like them are happy, successful, doing things that they love doing in STEM careers. They'll also have a great day speaking to all the fantastic role models and finding out all the opportunities available for them. Um, my favourite bit, I've really enjoyed the um, question and answer session that we just had. It was really interesting and see what other people wanted to say. I really enjoyed listening to the lectures and um, hearing about the scientists <laughs> and what they do. Um, I think being inspired by the talks that we had, it's kind of broadened our horizon. It's really cool to ask people about how they got where they are and their sort of route to do that. The different careers and knowing that not necessarily one career in your life is like the only option, there's so many more things that you could do. I'm here to kind of bust apart that stereotype, that myth, that idea that you have to be a certain type of person to be a STEM professional, to be a scientist, to be a mathematician. These challenges should never let young girls particularly be put off from doing what they're passionate about and what they love. At the John Innes Centre we're absolutely committed to making the best environment for all our staff and that absolutely includes reaching out to young people to encourage more young girls to consider a future career in STEM. My one message to take home from today would be to not let anybody put you off from doing what you want to do, whether it's yourself or whether it's people around you, that if you're passionate about science and you're passionate about understanding the world, then science is for you.